I probably just would wear with a hat. You know what I'm saying? A little cap. I was bamboozled. I'm a I was hoodwinked. I was led astray. I don't like that. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, everybody in between. I'm back with somebody else's hair, and guess what? We're doing another Amazon wig haul. So, I don't know if you've been here before, but I do all types of wig reviews, but one of my favorite things to do is the Amazon wig haul. I love buying wigs on Amazon and just going in blind and seeing what we get. So today we're doing an Amazon wig haul and these Amazon wigs are human hair wigs, but they're the wear and go wigs that the girls have been wearing. You, you've seen me review like a couple of wear and go wigs, but I decided to buy three, three wigs of each type from Amazon at around $100. I think it was $100 or less. Don't quote me but around $100 or less to see if they're actually wearing go wigs. I haven't opened these packages. These are sight unseen. I received them in their respective boxes, but I have not opened these packages. So we're gonna be opening them together. So what's going on with the blanks? So we already have our base set up. So I'm gonna go in blind, girl. We're just gonna open a box first. I think I'll start with the box. I feel like I wanna start with this. Which one do I wanna start with? I don't know, but I should be able to tell what wig it is. I'll start with this. I feel like I'm feeling a little love coming from this bag. Okay, so what I know about wear and go wigs is that they have pre-cut lace, pre-plucked hairlines, and it's a closure. So let me put this dirty baby hair brush down. You don't have to worry about ear tabs and so you're supposed to be able to pull it out of the bag and punch it out the door. So we'll see if these really live up to those claims. But first, I need to go ahead and make sure I do my base. I can move a little bit. <laughs> Why am I this so hard? So for the base of all of my wear and go wigs, because they're closures, I always do like this little cap situation. It's a wig grip, wig cap, boom. And then I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna use my She Is Bomb wax stick. And I'm going to lay down these little ear tab baby hairs because y'all not gonna catch me slipping. You understand? You're, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna do a little bit, not too, oh girl. The makeup is shifting. I already laid it out. I don't even know why I had that mirror up. So I'm gonna start with this one. I'm not sure what brand this is. We're gonna have to figure it out together, but hopefully we'll be able to see what it is. I'll go ahead and give y'all the specs. So this is the packaging. It comes in this plastic bag. Now this says four by four pre-cut lace closure wig 20 inches. It's the body weight. This is the body weight one. Okay. Ooh, they gave us a little gift. Y'all know the gifts on Amazon. <laughs> Let's see what they get. Okay. All I see is eyelashes. I ain't see no bloody tattoo stickers. Okay, so I got some eyelashes. Let's see. Nothing smells weird. Okay. Inside the bag, of course, they give you some wig caps. Great. Start off good. An elastic band. It's just a regular elastic band. And, okay, the wig. The wig comes in the netting. Let me take this off. Let's see what we got in one, one. I don't know where that New York accent came from. Girl, I'm from Georgia. Okay, so this is what the wig looks like. Now this is a texture. This is 20 inches of body weight. What? Oh, this is very soft. Oh, that's very soft. <laughs> Usually wear and go wigs have HD lace. Like it's really, really thin like lace that blends into the skin although may, most likely is in my skin tone it should be really really thin like lace so hmm okay now for the actual lace closure it is pre-plucked the knots are usually not bleached on these wear and go wigs so the knots are not bleached and let's see what it looks like inside the cap and then I'll tell you which wig this is. Okay, so this one comes with the piano key elastic band, except this one's like a really thin one. Usually the piano key elastic band is thicker and the closure is a four by four. So it's not as big as like a four and a half by six or like a five by five. It's a much smaller closure. And inside the cap, now, ooh, this is a different sort of cap. This is a soft dome cap. There's no combs on the inside at all, which you may or may not like and it's like really soft it's not hard like the other wear and go wigs so this that's different okay now which wig is this okay let me tell y'all which wig this is this is this wig is from the b luck store 
It is the four by four wear and go glueless wig. It's 20 inches long. And this one is the one that's $89.99. Come through. It's saying that you should, you should be able to wear this wig glueless. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop her on and see what she's talking about now. Okay. Let's see what she's talking about. There is a 5% off coupon. They didn't, I don't think they had that when I bought this. So I got gypped. I'm noticing the pre-cut lace, usually it comes zigzag cut and this is straight across. Ooh. I need my hairline to look like a coastline, okay? I'll give it a chance, but it's supposed to have like a zigzaggy sort of thing going. So I don't know, I don't know. Okay, okay. Well, that is tight. <laughs> That's what she said, That's tight. I don't like that straight across. This is what the hairline looks like on my skin tone. Way too light. The lace is actually a little bit, it's not soft lace. Mm. The lace feels like a potato chip. <laughs> it's kind of thick. So the hairline is pre-plugged. That's a plus. And the hair is very soft. Oh, girl, why? My armpits look like that. I'm gonna give her a fighting chance, okay? I'm gonna see if lace tint works. I'm gonna see if I can put lace tint on her and see what she gives. But if the lace tint don't work, then girl, girl, I don't know. The wig cap is small, but it stretches. But it is small because it fits my head. If it fits my head, it'll fit a lizard's head. Like, it's really small. We're gonna give it a chance, tint the lace, and then see what happens. Now, the lace tint that I always use is not from Amazon. This is a lace tint. I've talked about it before. It's from Flawless Illusion. It's Kelly Derrick Lace Tint Spray. That's This is a lace tint spray that I'm going to use throughout the video if the other uh, wigs need it. I'm going to tint the lace and see if it helps the wig and then we'll do a little bit of styling. Not too much. I'm keeping the texture of the wig. Girl, I'm not trying to... I got three wigs to do. Okay? So I can't be over here trying to style the universe. Ooh, no, ooh, this wig almost fell off. Okay, let's spray some lace tint on there. Okay, and I'm going to take a brush, rub it in. See what happens. I like to rub the lace tint on the front of the edge and then just brush it in. Okay. I'm gonna set the color in and then we'll try her again. So, so I'm gonna plop her back on and then I'm gonna flatten the hairline because that's what I always do with all my wigs. And then we're gonna see what, what it looks like. See, I'm gonna give her her fighting chin. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Baby, that elastic band is tight. Tight. What is up with, oh, oh girl, that's weird. Hold on, let me flatten the hairline. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm talking about. This hairline is weird, but let me flatten it. So in order to flatten the hairline, I'm gonna use this wax stick, you can get it from Amazon. Both the edge control and the wax stick you can get in a package, I'll leave it down below. All the links are affiliate links, just so you know, for these wigs as well, so. So I'm gonna flatten the hairline with my Red by Kiss hot comb and see. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Okay. Let's see if we can redeem her. Y'all know I like to redeem these wigs. Ooh, girl, that part is... Whoa. Whoa. I don't... Okay. <laughs> so one last thing. Let me curl just the hairs in front of the face. Just these two sides... Like right here. I'm gonna leave the waves at the back, but I'm gonna curl it using the cheese spinning curl and see, see how it curls. Does the hair burn? Cause that's good to know. If y'all haven't used a cheese spinning curl, I'm telling you it's everything. So this is after I have styled the hair. I tried to give this hair the fighting chance. Usually I would do like baby hairs and conceal the part, but I gotta talk about this part and all of that. So, um, hmm, a couple things. I think the hair is very, very soft. Um, and I like how the wig fits. Like it fits to my very, 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 very tiny head. But, and I like how the hair curled. We start with the good, okay? We probably gonna sandwich it. Y'all know, good, bad, good. <laughs> 
really really soft hair super easy to style the hairline like it's cut straight across you see it's like straight straight across which isn't, which isn't particularly bad but it's a telltale sign between amateur wig or a wig that's you know that has a little bit of quality in it it should have the pre-cut lace should have that zigzag cut because it doesn't it makes it a little bit obvious now the part is a little bit the part is not defined y'all know i can't part so it could be me but the part is not defined and it's really really dark because the knots are crazy dark crazy crazy dark like so it's really really hard to get a good defined part without concealer the lace is a little bit thick and the hairline is pre-plucked which we love but the, again the knots are really dark and typically with the wear and go wigs the knots should be very very small so you don't really have to bleach the knots but this one i feel like you would need to bleach the knots which kind of works against the wear and go let me zoom y'all in on this lace i spent too much time on this wig but let me zoom in on this lace y'all see that like this it's pre-plucked but it's not pre-plucked gradually so you see like it's pre-plucked and then there's a big line of all the darker hair behind it. Like it's pre-plucked but it looks like y'all just snatched the hair out the front and then left the back. You need to do a gradient. They need a little bit more refining. And you definitely need baby hairs because what is this? <laughs> to, I, I, no. The good part is that it's only $89.99. The hair is very, very soft. And if you're looking for something affordable and that you can toss on and you don't really care about knots, or the lace being thick or you know I feel like this wouldn't be that bad but I'm, I would have expected something a little bit more refined she just needs a little bit more refining and I didn't do much to her but I'm gonna have to do a little bit more work on her to make her work but I wouldn't be opposed to be wearing this out the house I probably just would wear it with a hat you know what I'm saying a little cap maybe a little sun Sun had a something with a big brown. But this is what it looks like in the back. But I don't hate it. Like the hair itself is super soft, super dark. It curls very, very well. It holds a curl. So I like it. I just don't love it. Those points, it's up to you. But y'all already see what we're talking about though. We'll see what the other ones look like. I want to see what's the standard for this price point. But this one's only $89.99 with a 5% off coupon code right now. So um it could be good and if you don't think this looks that bad and you got a little concealer on you girl this would be a good affordable wear and go wig to to wear but meh, you have to do something to it it's not wear and go it's wear do a little work on it then maybe you can go with a hat <laughs> okay well mm, it's not bad though it's not bad y'all tell me what you think down below let's go ahead and move over to the next one. okay so we're moving on to wig number two we're hoping that this one is like a better move now this is from the brand ashert don't remember which wig this is but i'm gonna go ahead and open her up oh it has a nice box nice packaging now how do you oh girl they put like actual hold on there we go oh okay so this is the packaging girl i should have put on some press on nails this is the packaging this is the wig it already looks good from the i'm not gonna lie to y'all it already looks good from the bag but i'm not gonna give her too much okay so inside the box of course you get girl these big old lashes i don't know who who is wearing these you tell me if you one of these girls is wearing these let me know i could never i know your eyelids got biceps i know it this is the wig cap and these are some combs that you could actually add to the wig if you would like to so huh that's cute and considerate right okay so i already know what wig this is oh my god this is a 20 inch body wave wig it's like a highlight wig the wig this is what it looks like it comes in the netting which is good Ooh, very pretty oh, excited. <laughs> When I get to drooling over hair, girl, you know it means something. Somebody needs to take me to a psychologist because this is what the wig looks like. This is what I was talking about. So it has a pre-plucked hairline. It looks good. The knots look small. They look light, but the hair is also light. So this is what it looks like. It also comes with a part. The other one did, the last one didn't come with a part. Let's see. So inside the cap, now this is a wear and go cap that I'm sort of used to. It's a little bit of a thicker cap. It has a thicker band around the outside. The cap is pretty soft. The lace is really thin and soft. 
and it comes with a piano key elastic band except just like the last one this is a very thin piano key elastic band it's softer not sure if that's a good or bad thing it all depends on what you like so this is the ash shirt wear and go ombre highlight lace front wigs now this one got four oh, i didn't tell you the last wig in the review got a 4.4 4 out of five this one has a four out of five so huh we'll see what the issue is with this this wig was 109 dollars and it comes with a 15 dollar coupon was i not getting my coupon <laughs> right now it'll be under 100 dollars for the 20 inch do they tell you what type of uh closer it is what type of closer is this they're claiming you could put it on in 30 seconds like girl how do you know yes you can put it on your head in 30 seconds but you also could look like a fool in 30 seconds so who do you <laughs> color is number 427 it's 20 inches long it has 180 percent density it looks like a four by four now this has the zigzag cutting that i was talking about the zigzag cut that i was talking about so let's go ahead and try it on i'm running my mouth too much now i'm trying to wait, figure out why i got a four out of five okay okay well well the hairline is looking real weird but okay so put it on in 30 seconds this is what you're gonna look like walking out the door this is what you want that's not what you want <laughs> we're gonna give it some justice we're gonna not give it justice we're gonna do it some justice so i'm gonna tint the lace and plop her back on since it's already pre-parted i shouldn't have to do much i'm just gonna add some tint to the lace but as you can see girl that lace is way too light that is typical of wear and go wigs. Like every wear and go wig that I've received, the the lace is a little bit too light. Now the hair, I don't know what it is about Amazon wigs, but the cap be real small. This cap is pretty small because it fits to my head pretty comfortably, which is a telltale sign for the girls that have larger circumferences on the head or bigger heads. Girl, I don't know why I'm trying to be. Also, from first glance, you can see the tracks. Girl, they are right there. Ain't no peekaboo, ain't no hide and go see, nothing. Okay, so I'm gonna give this wig a fighting chance, like I said. So I'm gonna add some lace tint. I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time. Add some lace tint. I'm gonna add some She Is Bomb wax stick to the hairline. I'm gonna flatten the hairline and we're just gonna do two little curls in the front because I'm not curling a whole wig, but I wanna see how the hair reacts to heat. Now it is very soft, so. That lace is real light. We'll see what she's talking about. So let me go ahead and do what I need to do to give her a fighting chance and then I'll come back after the customization, okay? So this is what wig number two looks like after doing like a little bit of customization a little bit of styling and this is what i was looking for on the lace now it's still not blending in exactly how i would like it but it's a lot better right like i could wear glueless if i put a little bit more lace tint on it and the hairline looks good hairline also had a little bit of wax on it i think so they'd already pre-flattened the hairline which i like as well like it's i'm happy about that like this is nice like I said, it's pre-plucked and it's pre-plucked nicely. I really do like how that looks. Now, the only thing about this closure is like where the closure is sewn onto the tracks, it's kind of overlapped over the hair, which gives it like more of this hype hair look like right here. Like the hair is like hiked up. It's like, it's hard to get it flat. 
because it's like sticking up over tracks. It's like folded over tracks, if that makes sense. I like how the wig cap fits, but the, one of my biggest pet peeves is this right here. Like, why do y'all have black? Why do they have black uh, thread? Because they have black thread on the tracks, it makes it look, it stands right out. So you're gonna have to do baby hairs or something like that to cover this part. Now, as far as the hair, yes, yes, yes. Yes, the hair is very, very soft. As you can see, it curled very well. And it's the highlights are very, very pretty. Now, I would definitely have curled all of this hair and I feel like it would have looked amazing, but girl, who has time? Okay, I don't have time today. I have one more week to do. And it's, it's looking, it's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Now, for the hair on the ends, like the hair is very soft, but the ends are like frayed. You see, like it needs a trim. It definitely needs a trim. Like the ends are pretty dry. So if I cut it like up to here, oh, I feel like she would be everything. She'd be absolutely gorgeous. It, I would need to cut off like an inch. But as far as this wig, I would give it like an eight out of 10. Now the last wig, I was, I, would, I think I gave it like a, we're gonna give it a five or six out of 10. But this one, I would give it an eight out of 10. Seven out of 10. <laughs> Seven and a half, some seven or eight. You know, I don't know. I can't decide. The hair is great. The closure in the zigzag part looks good, and the hairline is plucked well. It's just this part. So yeah, three. I would give it a seven out of ten, right? Seven, seven or eight. But let me show you what it looks like in the back. With just the hair, like this hair has not been nothing done to it, so. But y'all tell me what you think about this one. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? This one definitely needs baby hair, though. So. And a good flattening at the top. Like, oof. But yeah, y'all tell me what you think. And let's move on to wig number three. Let's move on to the last wig, finally, girl. Okay, so this is the last wig. I already know what this one is because process of elimination. So this wig, I think is a curly wear and go wig. So, mm. Okay, so this is the packaging. I need it. This is the packaging right here. And the gifts that you receive is a wig cap. They said, girl, thank you much. Get a wig cap and punch it. Okay, that's all you get. Now, as for the wig, this wig is what? It smells like a little fishy, like a little bit. Like it has like a little bit of like a, I guess it would be a chemical smell, but like a little fishy. Like, eh. let's take off the netting. Ooh, this lace is not pre-cut. Girl, they do not cut this lace. Okay, so this is supposed to be a wear and go wig. Wear and go wigs are supposed to have pre-cut lace. Now, I'm gonna see if I bought the wrong thing, but I could have sworn I bought a wear and go wig. So this is what the hairline looks like. It actually looks good to me. You know, it looks pre-cut, pre-plucked. Um, the knots are not bleached, and it's a closure. This closure looks... Now it's a four by four. So, but I'm real irritated by the fact that this, okay, why? Let me see what this wig is. Cause I could have sworn they said wear and go, wear and go. It's supposed to have pre-cut lace. Yeah, it says wear and go. So wear and go glueless wig for beginners. This one got a 4.4 out of five. And it's from the Maisie store, Maisie store. I'll leave a link for it down below, obviously, but this is a wear and go glueless wig for beginners. It has a four by four lace closure and it's 20 inches long. So this texture is a deep wave. And let me see if they have any coupons. No coupons. So she was $109.99. Now I would be, where's the coupon girl? Because am I paying for the extra lace? On the picture, it does show that the lace is still attached. So I guess fool me once, but where, I don't know why they're using the wear and go. So I guess I gotta cut my own lace. Girl, I didn't even have no scissors out. They talking about wear within 15 seconds. So it take me 15 seconds to cut the lace and I still gotta put it on. What are you talking about? I do not like cut, now I gotta grab my scissors, girl. I had my whole kit ready. And where are my scissors at? Well, I can't even find my scissors. I'm not set up for success today. I found a friend. I'm mad though. I am mad. Okay. So this wig is just a closure wig, girl. It's not wear and go. It's closure. It's a closure. I don't even want to mess with it, to be honest with you. So this is what it looks like 
On the inside, it has four combs, adjustable straps in the back, and no piano key elastic band, but it does feature a silicone like strip around it so it doesn't move around on your head. It can stay in place, which is cute. Okay, I guess. I was bamboozled. I'm a I was hoodwinked. I was led astray. I don't like this. Okay, so I mean like, as far as the hair, let's get into the hair. The hair is soft, very pretty. We like that, um, very fluffy. The curls are actually really pretty, okay. I can deactivate this attitude like a little bit, but 15 seconds is a lot, boy. Girl, they be lying through their teeth when I tell you they lie through their teeth. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It has good parting space. It is pre-plucked and I guess these are baby hairs. Girl, these are not baby hairs. These are grown hairs. They're not baby hairs. That's not baby hairs. So, I'm just gonna do a little bit to it and ask for the hair if it frizzes up. If the hair frizzes up, I'm gonna use this, the Do Pop Lock Wash and Go Gel. It's good for just like frizzy curls, but I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I feel like this wig is disqualified from the wear and go. It's disqualified. But I'm actually, I'm actually really upset. I'm gonna write a strongly worded letter to the Amazon. <laughs> what we're gonna do is what we just did. We're gonna tint the lace. Um, I'm gonna cut the lace because I guess that's an extra step and flatten the hairline. And we'll see where it takes us. But hmm. let's go ahead and get into it, okay? Okay, y'all, this is what the wig is looking like after that little bit of customization. Actually, this is giving more wear and go than the other ones, even though I, it wasn't wear and go. I had to do stuff to it. I had to part it. I had to cut the lace. Like, it's not wear and go. Wear and go means coming out the box, already pre-parted, already pre-plugged, lace already cut at the bare minimum, and it didn't have that, so. But the hair is very, very soft. Now, I shouldn't have did what I did to these curls, but, cause it's giving up wet. Like I said, it's not wear and go, but I will say that the hairline is pre-plucked, and after I cut the lace, it looks super natural. If I were to apply this wig or add a little bit more lace tint, I feel like she would really give that wear and go sort of look. As far as the parting space is really, really good. And the knots on this wig are very small, like teeny, teeny, tiny little knots, which allows the parting space to look more natural and nice. As far as the hair, the hair is soft. It is, it does shed a lot, but it's curly hair. Um, and I was running my hair all, hands all up and through this. So I could have left the hair in the back alone, but whatever, I didn't. <laughs> so that was, I look like, I look like I just jumped out the water child, but it's all right. Well, the cap actually has a little bit more space in it. So I had to pull the adjustable straps all the way in. So it seems to be big head friendly and it has those silicone, that silicone in there. So it does feel a little bit more secure and it has combs. I mean, I, I like it, but it's just not wear and go. It's a closure wig. It's a closure wig. So if you don't mind cutting lace and doing all that cu other customization stuff, then this will work for you. But if you're not trying to cut lace at all, this is not your girl. So um, let me show you what it looks like in the back. Let's see, all right. Okay, well, 
Yeah, I mean, what you think, girl? The way I edit this mousse, though, I hate it. <laughs> Y'all know I like to clump my curls. I like, I hate it. <laughs> Why I do that? Y'all tell me what you think about this one down below. Obviously, um, this was not wear and go to me, so I'm not like, get, this isn't giving, but like, I'm kind of upset at it. Oh, girl, there's a lot of lace over here. Oh yeah, the closure hair was like pretty dry. That's why I added mousse to it because it was just like dry. So it does need like a little bit of moisture, but I mean, y'all tell me what you think about this down below. This one needs a cut, it needs mousse, it probably needs a good wash, and then you'll really get the full potential of this one. But it's a curly one, so yeah. Um, I'm just upset that it said wear and go. They really tried it. Let's go ahead and close out this video. Um, I would give this wig, as far as a wear and go, the lace was on there, so it's like, a three out of ten <laughs> but as far as like a closure wig i would give it like i would give it a good seven out of ten like an actual closure like if i was buying just a closure wig i would give it a good seven out of ten girl i really did try and mess up this hair why did i do that let me fluff it up a little bit let me close out this video with my favorite wig and then we'll be okay y'all so we're ending this video with my favorite wearing a wig that i purchased and it's absolutely this one i feel like this is a no-brainer because it was the only one that had the wear and go specs like i said pre-cut lace pre-plucked hairline pre-parted pre-flattened hairline the only thing was like a couple of issues that i had talked about before so this one's my favorite because at least miss mama actually did what she said she was going to do so this one's my favorite. Y'all let me know what your favorite was down below. Either number wig number one, wig number two, or wig number three. I'm still mad. <laughs> Anyways, I love you all. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. I actually wanna re, I wanna style this one completely and actually wear it because I actually really do like it. The highlights are done very, very well. Like they did that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you truly enjoyed this Amazon wig haul. I will be doing more of these. I know I say this every single time and I don't do it, but I'm doing it because I already got a lineup for the next one. So y'all let me know what sort of Amazon wig hauls you want me to do. Human hair, synthetic hair, all of it. Let me know because I'm down for it. Anyways, again, I will leave links for all of these wigs down below. You can look them up, look at the reviews. Y'all tell me what you think. Also, all these wigs have affiliate codes, so I will be paid off of each purchase. If you do purchase it, it's up to you or click it, all that type of stuff. These are affiliate codes, just wanted to let you know. But anyways, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.